What's poppin', my people? You already know what this is. It's on the lockout. What's up, lockout gang for life? You already know we gonna get into this video right here. It's uh, Rikers Island closing. What happens when prisons, jails, Rikers Island, any institution closes down? This is part two of part one because I did that in the live. I wasn't feeling it. They cut us off. Let's get to it. Rikers Island is closing. What do you think is going to happen? My opinion, nothing is going to change. Situations will only get worse. The people that suffer the most, I think, because we all know there's people locked up that didn't really commit the crime that they being charged with, right? People lay up on Rikers Island for years, suffering pain, torture, beatings, a lot of harm, a lot of mental stress, situations of the environment and the surroundings is crazy. Asbestos all over the place, roaches, rats. But listen, I'm not trying to say that it's supposed to be uh, the Howard Johnson Hotel or, 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 you know what I mean, or Trump or whatever hotel, man. Damn, why I said Trump, man? Damn. But anyway... <laughs> It's not supposed to be a, 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 you know, a place where you, oh, this is luxury. I get it. It's jail, right? But come on, man. Some of those some, um, conditions is really crazy. I've been there, nothing to brag or glorify, a lot of times. And every time I went back, the situation only worsened and worsened. All right, so I wake up this morning, and I'm reading, and... Because I always read when I wake up. Facts. So I'm reading. I run into this thing about Rikers Island closing again. Rikers is in the news. The media is talking about it. Uh, people are acting concerned. People are acting like they care. Oh, wow. All I see is a lot of hungry people trying to get to the bag, right? <laughs> uh, you know, and uh, I get it, right? But come on, man. So a lot of people are angry because they saying that another seven more years of torture, like, if you're going to close it, shut it down now, you know? But then it's like, what are we going to do with all these people that are locked up? And then again, a lot of people are stating, you know what? Don't close that jail, man. You're going to have a bigger problem than the one you have already. They don't want these new jails in their communities, right? They got an activist group called No New Jails. They started a movement called No New Jails, right? Uh, they built, they, 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 they got together over $8 billion for this, right? But these people are saying that there's other things you could do with that bread besides build new jails to incarcerate our black and brown people. Facts. With that, they 100% right to me. There's a lot of more things that you can do with that money I know that it's a, a, a act like, you know, you're trying to act like you uh, you care about the prisoners' rights and all that. At the end of the day, we all know that's not the fact. Uh, the way I see it, I see it as a money as a money thing. They see it as a way for more people to invest in more stocks. Uh, we all know that prisons, jails, and institutions generates money to a whole lot of people that uh, take advantage of you know, of that, being able to invest their money in there and then sit back and just watch how judges and uh, DAs crucify these people and give them football numbers at times for crimes that you know deep down inside that individual, that brother, that dark-skinned brother, that brown brother did not commit that crime. And that's a fact. I've been a witness to it. It's happened to me on several occasions, you know, so... But check it out. No New Jails activist says that money should go directly into funding social services for the communities most impacted and incarceration and targeted the actual causes of incarceration themselves. I get it. Racism and equality and inequality 
I get what he's saying. You know, instead of building new jails, there's other services that you could, you know, help service with that money. Like, what are those inmates or people you have locked up are going to do when they get out? There's not a lot of programs that help you build something or become somebody once you get out of Rikers Island or any institution. It's a fact. It's just like they throw you out there and that's that, right? So I get that part. You know, that's a lot of bread to raise, you know? So now, <laughs> they say New York's biggest concern is that de Blasio will not be in office in 2027, <laughs> which was when Rikers Island is scheduled to close its doors. <laughs> There's no promise that that will actually be that it will actually be closed. The organizer told whatever, right? They talking about this. These concerns are well found funded. Wow, founded. That's crazy, man. The only thing set in stones are the wow. The locations of the construction plans for the new jails. <laughs> the only thing that's set in stone, you get what's going on here? The only thing that's set in stone, of course, is the construction for the new jails. Because with that being said, what they do is they give their mans and them the bread. This is this scheme been going on for years. Didn't it happen with the Clintons and all that, if I'm not mistaken, leave in the comments who remembers all this. They give their man, they run a mob down low construction site. It usually be a family member. It happened with one of them, if I recall that in the news. They give him a few mil. He starts the construction thing. They not worried about Rikers Island closing, but this bread is going to be spreaded. What you did with the bread, where we pay for this construction, you know the building is being built. Of course it's going to be built. It's going to generate more money. So the only thing that's set in stone as of right now is that four more jails are going to be built. Boom. This is on the lockout. That's what it is. On the lockout. We got to get to it right now. Boom. Because things are getting crazy. We need these because then we can't hear what's going on. Then I got to do the whole thing again. Again, in case you're wondering why, and this is a show, and this is what shows do, facts, or what I do. This is what makes me lock out. Uh, hmm? They bugging. Four more jails. We got to Scooby-Doo them, right? So with all that being said, leave in the comments how you feel about that, and what's your opinion. Do you think it's better for the jails to be right there because... They say it's it's sad, like you know, they looking at it like <laughs> we looking out for the inmates that's gonna be in there, right? Because they're family members, it'll be easier for them to visit them. You feel me? Cause they right there. So like they saying if you from Brooklyn, you're gonna be in the Brooklyn jail. If you from Manhattan, you're gonna be in the Manhattan jail, right? So like they're gonna put you nearby your crib. Instead of just throwing you all the way to an island, they figuring your family got to go all the way out there and visit you, have, ha, as it happened to me, for a bunch of years, right? But I don't know if that's, like, the best thing to happen, right? Because a lot of chicks out there had the excuse before, like, yo, pa, I can't make it to the island. You know, it's kind of far. I just got out of work. So now homeboy's going to be like, yo, you bugging? You work right there? You ain't here? Like, it's... I'm picturing, like, all those tensions that's going to go down, like, all situations. So I don't know, if, you know, because people don't think about this. I don't know if it's going to make it better. I think it's going to be a lot of feeling, emotions going around, too, in that in them buildings. Because now it's not like a maybe she's getting her buns blown. Like, now it's like, okay, this is real, bro. You work a few blocks away, you got three hours to get here, you're in the same borough, but you still not making it. So, there's people that murk themselves over a situation with a chick. Something that light, something that 
simple that someone would be like, I won't do that over a girl, but you won't. But there's a lot of other people that will, right? I seen it done. I was there when it happened a lot of times. It gets ugly when it gets ugly, right? So now, mama, you that's watching, stop playing with homeboy. He's coming. You heard? He's going to be right by the house. So stop playing around. You heard? There's no more excuses that the island is far. You got to take the bus. The uh, uh, the alarm rang off and it was on for man hours. Alarms are still going to ring off there. But, but when the, the alarm clears, you can hurry up, run, boom, boom. You could throw anything on and run across the street. I don't know. I don't know where they're going to be built. It might be right next to your house. But one thing I do know is that they're going to be built and that these situations will be taking place. Facts. What's the excuse now for people that be, yo, I didn't go see you because that's far, man. I got to cross the island. I got to take a bus. Ah, 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 ah. It might be a hop, skip, and a jump now. So the excuses got to change, you heard? You got to come up with, new, with something new because that one ain't going to work no more, mama. <laughs> yeah, so what you think about that? Leave that in the comments about uh, our families also going to have more bad interactions. Like, arguments are going to break out. You feel me? Like, that's the... And you know why? Because that's one of the main things that goes on in the jail. The situation with dudes with their girl. That's what brings all the problems, right? Because of that jack, that phone that they want to call her... Yo, I got things on my phone. Ah, it's always, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you're not producing, man. You can't rock like that, right? But the producing leads back to who? To Shorty. You feel me? Because, uh, I mean, you know, we, you know where we at. Facts. But, you know, the mule. Facts. <laughs> the mule. Uh, uh, uh. If you ain't producing, I got to make a call. But it all leads back to. Shorty, a girl, because she's the one that's making all that happen. You feel me? And that brings a lot of problems in the jail. That's all I'm trying to say. Maybe you got thrown off right there. Maybe you follow. But leave in the comments how you feel about that and what I'm saying and how you feel about the construction or were you one of the ones that really, like, I knew that was coming. That's definitely going to be built. But, like it's being said, it's not written in stone that that's going to close. You feel me? And they starting to say this a lot already. So they already putting this in your head and programming you like, listen, we said that I, right, but it might be like a psych. <laughs> psych, you was played. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've been punked. Like, you know, but we got four more of these. So now there's five. You know what I'm saying? Mm, I don't know, man. They good for not keeping their promises. They good for not keeping their word, man. But one thing I could tell you, that this is my word. That if you ever show love to this channel, or whether you didn't, but if you watching this, if nobody ever told you that they love you, I love you, man. Stay out of jail, stay out of prison. It's not for nobody. But uh, the conversations need to be brought up. You know what I'm saying? And everybody needs somebody. Love all people. We're the Lockout Gang, otherwise known as the Lockout Family for life, right? Tune in. We got a lot of new content coming. We doing our interviews, uh, video interviews about people's story, prison story, regular life story. All that is coming. Hang in there with me. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. My name is Warpath. This is on the Lockout. You already know. <laughs>